Today I'm going to show you how to make minty pea and potato soup. You will need 400 grams of peas, this is the de-shelled weight, 500 grams of potatoes, one litre of vegetable stock, one onion, one teaspoon of oil, and two tablespoons of mint sauce. If you don't want to use mint sauce, you can either use two tablespoons of dried mint or four tablespoons of chopped fresh mint. I like to use mint sauce because um, of the other added ingredients in it. So it's got a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vinegar. I find that it just adds that little bit more flavor to the soup. Firstly, deshell your peas. So I use this soup as a great way of using up older peas that have gone kind of past their best on the plant. Um, so these are the slightly more dried ones. Um, I know my dad, um, when he has the older peas on the plant, he dries them out and saves them for the next year's seeds. Um, we don't do that here just because we grow so many different varieties of peas. You never quite know if they're gonna cross pollinate and then you don't know what pea you're gonna get at the end. Um, and also because our neighbor grows peas as well, it could also cross pollinate with his. Um, but I know my dad, cause he's quite, uh, cause he hasn't really got anyone near him that grows the peas. He knows what variety he should get. So there's it's always that use for them as well. But I find this, uh, this soup um, is quite useful for kind of the older peas where they're a little bit tough. Then you want to prep your potatoes. So just peel them and chop them into uh, smaller chunks. And then just prep your onion as well. So just dice up your onion. Then in a saucepan over a low heat, add your oil and fry your onions for about five minutes. Then add your potato and your stock and bring to a boil. And once it's at a boil, then you want to boil it for eight minutes. Then add your peas and your mint sauce and bring the heat down slightly and simmer it for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, just making sure that your potatoes are cooked all the way through. Then ideally let your soup cool for a little bit before you blend it, but if you are blending it hot, please be careful. I don't want anyone scalding themselves. So you can use a stand blender, I just have a hand blender to, to hand, um, and then just blend up your soup until it is all thoroughly blended. And then just simply reheat as required. And there you have it. That's how you make minty pea and potato soup. 